Hello and welcome. It's such a pleasure to be back home at Nebraska. I've really enjoyed catching up with old friends and our devoted alumni. I'm so grateful to all of you for the leadership and the guidance you provide us in so many ways. Our professional advisory committee has been key in pushing the college forward. And with the support of new chancellor, Ronnie Green, we are really optimistic about each of the programs within UNL's College of Architecture. Look at the opportunity that you've got to be able to step back now and say, we're gonna define our future. The university is going to back that future and they're gonna be serious about it. And now you've got an open road to figure this out. And there's a lot to be excited about, particularly when I see the quality of our student work. Our fourth year collaborative studio students presented their data-driven elementary school design concepts to the DLR group and special guest Sharon Indorf from the National Association of School Boards. Thank you to all of our community partners. You provide such valuable guidance for our students. In our landscape architecture studio, students are kicking off a project to design ways to rehabilitate and redevelop sections of Lincoln's solid waste facility. We're eventually going to be looking at how to design something for this space, so in your minds you also have to go through kind of a really comprehensive checklist at what you're looking at. Uh, so it's exciting, it's fun, but it's also serious work that really matters to your design process. So It will be fascinating to see what students come up with as they address the complexities of the landfill site. They're like a little oasis. You may have also seen in the news some of the other environmental work the college has been involved with. CRP's Dr. Zhenhong Tang has secured yet another EPA grant and we'll be working with drones to assess and analyze Nebraska wetland conditions. Important and exciting work for sure. And in what's become an annual tradition, our students are turning heads on P Street. Today is Parking Day. Um, it's an annual global event in which activists, designer, and community members design installations for parking stalls around the world. And what you're seeing here is College of Architecture students who've created nine stalls in which they are to create uh, public amenity for the city for a day. What we've made is an area where people can gather together and sit in a former parking stall turned public space for the day. <laughs> So the structure itself is made of recycled pallets, wooden pallets that we've deconstructed and reconstructed to make the structure. And then we've got rigid insulation foam on top, and then it's all covered in this spandex knit fabric. Well, the hope of it is that students are able to see a project through from design and ideation through prototyping and into construction. We're hoping that it gets picked by one of the architecture firms to be displayed for a while. If not, uh, one of our team members really is keen on taking it back to his house. I can't wait to see what they come up with next year. We're always on the lookout for the next generation of students. Our open house gave high school students a taste of the college. And we're really excited to go through this activity with you this afternoon and talk a little bit about what a design studio is. We're building a object that will change the way that people look at things. We are thinking about space, experience, body. I've always been able to draw and like build stuff, so I thought this would be a good one to go and see what they have for architecture. It's seniors and juniors that came from all throughout our state. We're learning about architecture, interior design, and landscape design. Designing cool different things is just something I've always wanted to do, and the University of Nebraska's program is one of the best ones that I could possibly get. If you know future college students with an interest in architecture, design, or planning, be sure to send them our way. Let's keep in touch. And thank you for all you do for the College of Architecture.